Hey everybody, Mike here. It is February 6th, 2017. It's a balmy 55 degrees here in western Pennsylvania. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, my Boss Buck deer feeder. It's actually the only feeder I ever had, so I can't compare it to all the other ones, but I really like this feeder, and uh, I'll show it to you and explain why. So this is their 600 pound model. Uh, it's just a gravity feeder. It's got the four spouts on it there. Uh, it takes a deer, when I first got this, maybe about a week to figure it out. And what you do is just kick a little corn or protein pellets, whatever you're using on the ground, and they'll figure it out pretty quick. I do have a friend in Ohio. He claims that he's had one up for uh, about a year now, and they haven't figured it out. So I don't understand how the deer get so big in Ohio when they can't figure out how to eat out of a feeder. But I think it's just a fluke. It's a great feeder. A lot of people have different opinions, but I've read several places that it's not best to feed deer strictly corn when you have a real harsh winter. Uh, I usually mix it up. Uh, some corn, some protein pellets, different things. However, this has been a very mild winter, and to be honest, I'll fill this feeder up. I'm going to put about 500 pounds in it. And uh, it'll take several weeks for them to eat all this. They're not, they just come in for a few minutes, nibble on a little bit, and move on. But there's uh, no snow right now. It's an unseasonably mild winter. Here's a peek inside. So that's 500 pounds, and uh, I think they're pretty much right on. Uh, I think I could fit another at least 50, maybe 100 pounds in here. A little bit of room to spare. If you look, you can see the corn is not coming down. It's caught up there, and that is because I have it just about closed. I like to do that when I fill it up, because if you get it wrong and it's open too much, the corn can just kind of keep pouring out. A simple adjustment, 7 16 wrench. Bumper down a little. And tighten it up. What I like to do to check it, it's going to pull some corn out. Like I said at the beginning, this is the first feeder that I ever had. So let me know what you guys use. Um, I'm pretty happy with this Boss Buck feeder. Take care.